So you're looking for your harmony part for gratitude and you just can't find it in the right key. What if I told you that no matter what key you're singing this song in, I could help you find your harmony part? That's what I wanna do in this video for the chorus and for the bridge. And I'll put some extra resources to help you out even more down the description and harmonize everything. All right, so the first chord of the chorus is a B chord, which is our one chord. And the melody goes, so I throw up my hands, which is one, two, three. So it starts on a one. So that means our upper harmony would be three, and our lower harmony would be five. So I'm gonna go ahead and sing through the upper harmony for us here. So I throw up my hands and praise you again and again. Cause all that I have is a that at the very end I went Hallelujah instead of which which would be three four five five three instead of backtracking and going three four five four three which would have followed the melody well but and you could sing it that way if it's just two-part harmony with the upper and the melody only but if there's the three-part harmony I find that it clashes when we come down on that four, and with since there's a five chord underneath, it creates a dominant seven chord, and I usually try to avoid those. So because of that, I just sing five, five, three. Now, it sounds a little bit out of place if you just go hallelujah, and just hold the ooh a straight line, even though you're just singing one note. So what, because the other notes are shifting, are moving, and then that one is just staying and it kind of sounds out of place, it doesn't match as well. So what I usually do is I add a little scoop to re-articulate the ooh, and then that way it'll match with the other notes that are going yeah. So you go yeah. add a little scoop, and that usually does it. All right, now for the lower harmony for the chorus, this is where things get interesting because there are three ways to do it. If you want to sing just the lower harmony with the melody, I suggest singing it one way because it creates nicer sounding intervals and it follows the melody better. But if you want to sing that same harmony part when there's three parts, it creates awkward chords. And so I don't like doing it that way. So there's another way to sing the lower harmony with a three with three three part harmony. And then in the final chorus, if you want to sing three part harmony to the final chorus where we have a minor five chord and a minor four chord. It sounds really cool, but you have to change the lower harmony part again, otherwise you get clashes there. And so let me show you how the lower harmony will sound with just the two parts and what I would suggest. <clears throat> so again, we have our one chord, melody is so one, and a lower harmony, five. So here's what I would sing for just uh, two parts. So I throw up my hands, and praise you again and again Cause all that I have is a hallelujah Hallelujah And I know it's not much But I've nothing else fit for a king Except for a heart sick That's what I would do. The in question part is on the hallelujahs on line two and four. So right now I'm singing hallelujah, hallelujah, which is six, seven, five, six, six, seven, one, seven. 
and it works like that. Now let me show you the lower harmony for the three parts. It'll go like this. So I throw up my hands and praise you again and again. Cause all that I have is a hallelujah, hallelujah. And I know it's not much, but I've nothing else fit for a king except for a heart singing high. So there you can tell the hallelujahs are different. I was going uh, five, six, five, 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 six, one, seven. And the reason is it creates better sounding chords with the upper harmony. Uh, so that's that. So you have to do it that way if you do it three part. And now the final chorus where it has the minor chords, you have to change it as well because if you don't, if you sing this part with it, it'll clash and you'll have the major sounding harmony along with the minor chords. Not a good idea. And so here's what you'll do. So I throw up my hands and praise you again and again. Cause all that I have is a hallelujah. Except for a heart singing hallelujah, hallelujah. So cool, right? So there, as you can tell, you have to sing this five, six, one, six, five, and that six is minor because it needs to match with this minor four chord. So the six normally would be hallelujah, right? But here we're going hallelujah. So cool. And uh, how are the, the first chord, the first hallelujah uh, is, is the four chord, the regular major four chord. So you're going hallelujah. Five, six, five, five. And then right when you get that minor four chord, so when you're going five, six, one, six, and then it goes five, six, six, one, one, one. And so right there as well, you still have to kind of keep it minor when you're going and I, because it's the, the that chord is still happening. And I know it's not much. So that's how that works, and it's super juicy. And now you can tell there's three different ways of singing this lower harmony. Normally when you figure out a harmony part, you just, you got the notes and you stick with it. But we're having to do it three different ways. And so this is where singing on the numbers and really being sure of what number is there is going to really, really help you. And so check out or Harmonize Everything. I have another video there of me just singing through on numbers the same part. And so you can practice along with that, or you can just practice along here and sing it on numbers uh, on your own. So I really highly recommend that. All right, so on to the bridge. The bridge, we got uh, one chord as well. We have a B chord and the melody is come on my soul, which is one, one, one. So the melody is on one. That means upper harmony three, lower harmony five. So here's the upper harmony for the bridge. Come on my soul. Don't you get shy on me, lift up your song Cause you've got a lion inside of those lungs Get up and harmony now again if you want to sing out on numbers I highly recommend you do that especially for places like inside of those lungs 
which goes one, 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 uh, four, three. So it's nice to know that it's four, three there and try to get it as close as possible. As you can tell, it's, it doesn't need to be robotic or anything like that, but it helps. All right, here's the lower harmony. Starts on the five. Come on, my soul, don't you get shy on me. Lift up your song, cause you've got a lion inside of the And so that should cover all of the parts. Now, this song doesn't really have a lot of harmony going on in it. It's a rather subdued song. So I usually only include harmony on the second chorus and then perhaps the second and third bridges when it's starting to build up. And then if you want to do harmony in the final chorus where it has that minor sound just as a like acapella or just subdued one, that could sound cool as well. And so I put together a template where it shows you where to come in on these harmonies. So you can find that in the description as well. And you can edit and tweak that template to work for your team as well. And then just like upload it to Planning Center or send it out to your singers so that they can use that and know when they should come in on which harmony part. And it also has which number they're on at that certain entrance. And so you can see the importance of really getting down the harmony part on the numbers and being able to sing on every single note with a number. And so I'm not doing it here in this video, but if you'd like, check out Harmonize Everything Portal. I'll have a, a video of me just singing through on numbers so you can practice there with it. So if you feel like that'd be helpful, I'll see you over there.